Hello, this is Kevin Olson from TextLearn.com, and welcome to Lesson 4.4 of the Intro to Java series. In this topic, we will be discussing random values, which we make using the random object. So there will be instances that come up in programming when you will want to be able to generate random numbers. Things such as game design, algorithm development, and testing will all need to use random numbers. We can use the random object in order to generate random values in our applications. We import the random object or the random class from the java.util package of the Java API. And we will be using the randoms next int method to get a random number. So the random next int method returns a pseudo-random uniformly distributed integer value between zero inclusive and the specified value exclusive. That means that when we use the random int to get the next int, it'll get a number between zero and whatever number we put into the parameters here. Now if we don't want to go from zero to a certain number, all we have to do is add a minimum number to the end of the expression to kind of offset that a little bit. So the difference between the max and the min plus one will be the random number generated and then we just add the minimum to that and we can find the minimum between say 10 and 100 or 100 and 200 instead of just 0 and 10 or 0 and 100. Alright, so let's bring up Eclipse and see how this all comes together. So I already have a project for 2.4 it looks like. Let me just open that guy. Okay, delete what's in there. I already imported the random class from the Java API so that is up there. Make sure you have that in there. And we will create a new random. So random random gen, I'm just gonna call it that, equals new random parentheses and we don't have to pass anything to that to create it. All right, generate a random number, print to screen. So int random number equals random gen dot next int. And we will pass that a value of 100. And now let's do system out print line random number. Okay, so we run this. And it prints out the number 92. So right now it is generating a random number between 0 and 99. Remember that that is exclusive, meaning it never generates the number 100, but it'll generate the number right before it. 16, 0, 26, 43. You get the idea there. Now let's say instead we want to generate a random number between 1,000 and 2,000. Well, what we have to do is because this is generating a random number between 0 and 1,000, well, we still want to be 8 or 100. We still want to be able to do that. So we'll have it generate a number between 0 and, let's say, 1,000 and 1. All right. And that is going with the max minus min plus 1. So our maximum number would be 2,000. Our minimum number would be 1,000. And we add 1 to that to get that 1,001 number. So we're getting a number between 0 and 1,000 now. And we want to make it between 1,000 and 2,000. So we just add 1,000 to that. So now we are going to get 1,000 plus a random number between 0 and 1,000. And that'll give us our random number between 1,000 and 2,000. Go ahead and run that. And now we get random numbers between 1 and 2,000. So that is the essence of the random number generator that we can use. Let's take a look and see what type of review exercise I have for you. Let me see here. Let's just restore. Okay. 
4.4 random values. So review exercise 4.4. Create a program that prompts the user to enter a maximum and minimum value. The program should then calculate 10 random numbers between these two values. Suggested methodology, create a scanner and a random object, prompt the user for the maximum and minimum values, store these as integers, then use a loop to generate 10 random values between these numbers and print them to the screen. Sample output, please enter the minimum 10, please enter the maximum 20. So now it generates 10 random numbers between 10 and 20. You can see those all there. So that is what I would like you to do to make sure you understand what or how to use these random objects. Thanks for watching and take care.